Now before I get going here today, when I was doing that little episode on the mag switch, and I was puzzled as to why it was that I would stick it on and it would hold about, take about 70 pounds or whatever to pull it off, and then when I let it drop down and it would stick again, it would only take maybe 40 pounds, you know, that sort of thing. One of the viewers made a comment, and I got it this morning, and I'm going to show it there on the screen. Now, because it's only going to be on for about 10 seconds, push the pause button if you want to read it all, and then push play to continue on. Now, my neighbor actually came over yesterday. He was over about supper time. And uh, he kind of surprised me because uh, he wasn't upset. He was apologetic. He said, I'm sorry I brought that pine. He said, I thought because it was softer it would turn easier. And I said to him, well, I did too at first. I had originally asked him to, to get me spruce, and spruce is what I used to make that cannon barrel, or at least the cover for the cannon barrel. And uh, it didn't give me near the trouble that this is giving. This is spruce. This was when I was first uh, practicing. When I first got this lathe, I was making little bowls out of just two by fours, spruce two by fours. And it, it turned out pretty good. Uh, now I realized that for the most part I was cutting, you know, along the grain instead of across the grain, so that, that helped. However, I had asked him to get spruce and he brought pine, so uh, he feels that it was his fault that this isn't working out. So. That's kind of good news. And uh, he looks at it and he's looking around. He says, you got any coarse sandpaper? <laughs> so uh, what he's going to do is he's going to take them the way they are. Any of the real bad gaps he's going to fill in, which is what a lot of you viewers were suggesting. And uh, he's, then he's going to paint all four of them black. You know, this one and the other one that he's got at home like it. And then the two that I'm going to finish off today, if I can psych myself up for it. Anyway, uh, we'll just sort of get going here. This is going to be another video that's not going to show a whole lot of different stuff. Uh, I'll show you how the second one here turns out by the end of the day. It shouldn't take too long. I, I think maybe there's only an hour and a half's worth of turning. Maybe I'll uh, show you when I actually use the bowl gouge to uh, uh, or rather spindle gouge to uh, try and uh, get into some of the cracks to make it a little bit more definitive. I don't know if you can see it, but, but right here this cove has to be rounded over a little bit better. And uh, this won't do it. Uh, by the way, the, the little bit that's on the other end of this, or cutter, it's a, it's a mini scraper. So I can tell why it's not doing too good, because when I when I went over parts with, here with, with, the, with the scraper, by hand, and it wasn't any better. It was tearing out, in other words. So uh, I realized that a gouge would work a lot better. I know that. Uh, just I'm not used to it. So I'm going to give it a whirl, see what we can do. Anyway, enough talking. Let's uh, see what happens today, and I'll see you tonight. I got to apologize to you folks. I know that earlier this morning I was saying I'll probably video me using the spindle gouge and so on, but you know when it came to using it I thought I got to concentrate 100% on what I'm doing here. Now as you can see there's no gouge stuck in the ceiling and the, the spindles turned out not too bad so I didn't have any humongous catches or anything like that. But it was just one big awkward procedure and I didn't use it all that much actually. Take a close look. Does anybody see a little animal with a long tail and eating a banana on my back? No? Well that's good. Because now that means I've finally got this monkey off my back. Uh, neighbor's going to be coming over later. We'll be cutting the uh, tenon off of here. And it'll make them the same height then. They're, they're pretty close. They're, they're, 
far from perfect, I realize that. Um, anyway, this project is, you may as well say, finished. The worst part of it's finished anyway. Yeah. Thanks for watching and thanks for putting up with me. I know I was kind of cranky over this one. As I said, I wasn't really, I wasn't really enjoying it. Uh, usually I enjoy turning, but not this for some reason. I don't know what happened. Anyway, see you back with the uh, big clock project. I'm really anxious to get back into this. Get these, get the teeth punt, pushed into here and get this thing assembled into a big ring. Anyway, thanks for watching.